In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to deal with the JavaScript alerts uh, using Selenium C Sharp. There are various alerts we can see in the web applications. There are mainly three different types of JS alerts that we see in the application. And that is JS alert and a confirm and a prompt message. Let's see one by one. Once you click on this click for JS alert, okay, you will see the alert window, which is having the OK button. So once you click on the OK button, you will see that means uh, you have clicked on the alert. So we got a successful message. We have to verify this. That means you have successfully clicked on the alert to OK button. And there, there is another type of alert that, you know, if you click on this uh, confirmation, confirmation means that means you have two options. One is a cancel and the other one is OK button. If you see this, I'm a confirmation box. I'm a confirmation alert. Okay, I'm having two buttons that is OK and cancel. If you, if you would like to proceed with this OK, then you can click on OK button. If you don't want to proceed with this particular operation, then you can click on the cancel. Once you click on the cancel, you will see the message. You can click, click the cancel. So this is another type of alert. We have, let's see another, another one, this prompt. The prompt with the text. The prompt of the text means, okay, uh, in the alert, you have to enter some text, testing alert, and click on OK button. That means you enter the testing alert. So that you are, and you are getting some messages here. You need to verify this. Okay. And apart from there is one more thing, like, you know, you need to get the text from the alert. As an example, you want to read this text. I'm a JS prompt. You want to read this text from the alert message. We have another one. Let's see these three or four type of uh, mechanisms uh, by using Salem C Sharp. I have four different methods. One is the alert accept, alert cancel, alert text and alert enter text. Let me create instance for the Chrome driver. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Driver dot navigate dot go to URL and copy this URL. Now I want to maximize this driver dot navigate dot sorry driver dot manage dot window dot maximize this click for j select button take the property of this button right click inspect element for this I don't see any ID a name or something else okay I blindly take the X path for this right click on this one copy copy X path. So this is the export I'm taking it. Copy this, but now click on, click on button. So create a web element. Button is equal to driver dot find element by dot export. Now I would like to click on this button. So once you click on this button, you will see the alert window. Now the, the actual challenge start. Now how to handle this? So before going to click on this OK button, right? Before going to click on this OK button, you need to switch your driver from this web page to the alert window. So for that, we need to create a alert object. So for alert object, we need to create alert object, I alert. I alert is an interface. I alert is an interface. Okay, A L is equal to driver dot switch to dot alert. So we have the different type of methods in the switch to, but the only thing we need that you know alerts. Alert. Take this alert. Now, this alert method. This sorry. Now this alert object is having your alert interface methods. A L dot you see that there is a text is there equal send a keys dismiss accept but only thing i want to click on the accept that means i want to click on the button yes so once you click on this button right okay you will be able to see once you click on this button now you will be able to see result message now take the property of this result message right click inspect element and there is a property called as id is called result for this, I'm going to create iWeb element again. 
this is for result is equal drive dot find element by dot id so i want to get the text of this message right okay for that uh, result dot text to get the text from the web element we have to use a method called as but i want to store this in the uh, string string result message or success message now i want to verify it i want to assert it so i'm using ms test assertions assert dot assert or equals okay for this i'm going to use result message this is my actual and i'm expecting a message called as from the web file me requirement copy this paste here that's fine it's good so till here you are creating an instance and now we have to url max by the browser then clicking on the alert button clicking on this button then you're getting the alert and switching to the alert and then accept the alert and getting the message and capturing the uh, message that's it now you just have to run and see but if you want to run this program right away i want to call this uh, uh I want to call this method in the main method program.cs. It's already called. Let's run this. Go back. Yeah, it's successfully executed. Fine. Then we'll see another one. Now we look at the other uh, other type of alerts here. Click on the JS confirm. Okay, so for this, okay, you need to just start to take the for this. So you have to take only for this. You have to take the property of this. Click JS confirm by click inspect element. And the property of this one copy X path. Yes, copy X path. Let me go back to alert handling and alert cancel. So yeah. So now I'll just take the property of an R web element. Driver is equal. I'm sorry. I web, uh, I'm just taking the property of this particular. I'm just going to write a web element for this particular button. I web element button is equal driver dot find element by dot x path. I want to click on this drive button dot click. So once you click on this, okay, as is the same thing, you can copy this message. You cop you can copy this code. If you want to click on accept, you can cancel uh, accept it. But you would like to cancel this, right? The method purpose is cancel. So I want to cancel it. That means that is a dismiss method. There is no cancel method, that is a dismiss. All right. But okay, once you dismiss, okay, if you want to verify something, click on this, click on cancel button, you will see the, you click cancel. You have to take this property, you have to take the property of this particular web element and same thing result. I'll just take the, uh, I'll just copy this one, same thing as it is. And uh, I also take this one. The only thing I need to change this code, the, this message. This message, I have to change it. Do click cancel. All right. Yeah. So let us test this, but before testing it, but uh, before testing it, so you have the driver in, uh, in, instantiation in the alert access method, right? So let me uh, cut this and put it in the setup method. There is a method called the public uh, wide setup method. So I want to create this setup method and put it here. Now I'll call the setup method in the uh, program.cs. First I'll call this alert setup method. Then after I have to go and uh, alert to cancel. Now let us run this program and see.
Yes, you click the cancel. The message is coming here, and also it got passed. So we have the it got passed. Now what next? Uh, we have to get the text from the alert. That is uh, one of the one of the challenges. Um, if you click on this button, okay, button, you will see this. I am a JS confirm. But what what is in your alert? Um, you want to verify some text from your alert. So in that case, you have to get this text from the alert, right? So no need to take the property of any of, no need to take the property of this. No need to have any property for this particular uh, text. You just have to uh, use some inbuilt methods of you know, I alert interface methods. Let's go back and see that. Um, yes, uh, here, we'll use the same code here. We'll use the same code till here. I'm just clicking on this button. Clicking on this button. I just want to verify this. I'm a JS confirm the message, alert message. So for that, okay, al dot uh, simply text, that's it. Simply text, okay. You want to store into the string variable, string uh, alert message. That's it. But you want to show it up in the console. You want to do that? Yes, I want to do that. So in that case, console dot, console dot right line. And this is the alert message. Yeah, I hope this is fine. Now let's, uh, let's, let's call this method in the main method. Right, run this. Yes, I'm a JS confirm. Yeah, this is working fine. If you want to accept it, you can accept it. If you want to do that, that's fine. If you go to the method and uh, here, so asset dot, asset dot are equals of alert message. Alert message, come on. And this is a message you're getting, right? Yes. Now you can, you can, you can run once again and see. That's awesome. It's working fine. The final one is I want to click on this button. I want to enter some text in the uh, alert text box. So this is alert text box. Okay. Uh, enter alert. Enter alert message. And I want to click on OK button. There are three operations. Okay. First, I want to click on this. Then I have to enter the message in the alert message box, text box then click on the OK button. Then you will see this message here. Okay. Now for that, what I'll do, uh, I'll take the property of this prompt, right click inspect element, right click, copy X path. So I web element button is equal driver dot find element by dot X path. Now button dot click. So once you click on this button, now we have to enter the value into the text box, right? So for this, we need to take the property of this thing. So property, you cannot capture it. You cannot capture it because we don't get any property for the alerts. So we have an inbuilt method that is called send again, simple. So your driver is in the web page right now, in this main page, not in the drive or not in the alert, not in the alert. So now let's say, now we have to create an instance for the alert. Okay, this is the alert now. Now you are switching to the alert. Now you are getting al dot send keys. Simple al dot send keys. And here uh, I'll tell you why I'm doing this. String uh, message is equal. Yep, I'm doing this. So this message variable I'm calling here. Right. 
right so once i send this right okay i want to click on this okay button right okay button. that means al dot accept simple al dot accept but once you click on okay i just enter some text here okay button and now you see the, the same message now you'll see that same message whatever you're entering the alert right so take the property of this one right like inspect element and uh, yeah you'll see the id is equal to result and i'll take the so i'll take the same yeah i'll copy the same this thing yes till here this result message is having this entire message or this results this message this message the results message is having this entire message right so now i want to assert it assert dot assert dot uh, i'll use assert true is it true is is true yes is true now uh, i'm going to i'm not using any asset dot asset equals or equals uh, i'm going to use asset dot is true result message dot contains dot contains this is enough contains what message simple that means your result message is combination of the entire things you entered and your message both are there and this message is having whatever you enter in the uh, whatever the text you are entering the alert does it, that is your this message so that means this whole message this whole message contain this value i'll copy this i'll copy this method and uh, call in the main method run it Yes, enter the text in the other text box and yeah, which is working fine. Let us quickly run all these examples once again, back to back. First, let me take alert accept. Is it dot alert cancel? Is it dot alert text? What is the dot alert enter text? Yes, I need to click on this finally. AL dot accept. Now we should run, I think. That's it, guys, for today. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in the next session.